Previously on Survivor Northeast, Kim tried to skate by. People are starting to realize I'm actually playing this game, which is terrifying because I wanted people to think I'm a floater for as long as possible. Moye was once again a target. I mean, I know Moye is like a non threat, but I'm pretty sure he's the one that's been screwing with the vote this entire time. So I kind of just want to like be done with that. But at Tribal Council, Kudibukyo still voted for Kim, leaving Sasha as the only remaining member of New Amsterdam. Eight players are left. Who will be voted out tonight? Annika told me that Kim was the vote. She was like, I didn't want you to be blindsided, and like, if you can vote with the team, that'd be good. I actually did tell her that it was gonna be Kim, so she wouldn't be fully blindsided. Yeah. Because I started feeling really bad, and she did. Is that me. how she figured it out? Yeah. I haven't told anybody else in two years that I told her. Like, yeah. I, I yeah. literally yeah. haven't mentioned it to anyone else. I was like, no, I didn't tell Sasha. I didn't tell Sasha. It's fine. I knew she figured it out from someone. I just. Yeah, she know. still voted um, Moye because she just couldn't write down Kim's name. Oh, was, yeah, like, absolutely. I totally get that. Kim was the only person that I trusted the most out of this game, maybe like like very close to 100%. Like I know it's a game and I know that it doesn't really mean a lot to some people, but like, like she was a true friend and I know like she wouldn't let me down. So now that she's gone, she's made me the biggest target possible. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but if I go out, I'm gonna go out guns blazing for Kim and try an A. We do have Sasha more or less believing us if we need yeah. her. My only fear is that Mila, <sighs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Calls Kayla it's, and something weird. Yeah, it's just, I think it's we're fine sketchy. for now. I'm pretty confident that I can beat just about anybody else in that five. Shaughnessy clearly doesn't think that I'm gonna be able to beat him, which is why he, he's taking me with him. Um, little does he know. I think we can automatically get to final six. Yeah. Question is, mm -hmm. what are you thinking afterwards? Because. We haven't talked to Kate in a while. I don't know. Um, I know, it's so hard to say. We're gonna have to turn on each other at some point. The only person I'm worried about turning on Kidoba Crew is Kayla. She's not as dumb as I think she wants people to think. I'm hoping that if she does try to, the other four of us hold strong and she can't beat us. I don't really want to be with Lucas or Annika at the end. So that either leaves me with Jonathan and Austin or maybe trying to take Mila to then, because I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet, but that's that's my plan. Some bitches. Hey, Mom. All right, guys. Welcome to your next challenge. First of all, Kayla, I'll put you in the back. <laughs> Once again, the immunity is back up for grabs. Uh, first, we'll do the idol clue. So for today's challenge, you guys are going to be competing in a tournament style challenge. There will be three parts. So the first part of the challenge, you have to push a ball all the way to over there. Your arms and legs will be bound. The four winners uh, will move on to round two, which will have you use twine and sticks to go retrieve a bag. Two winners will move on from that and the last round is a puzzle. Oh god. Woo. Oh my god. I like being tied up, but not like this. Ready? Go. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Lucas wins this round. So are you ready? Go! A light jog with a six pack. Oh, that's the one I was doing. Good deck, good deck. Strategy going on right now. Middle stick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's a good one for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought not. <laughs> I just wrapped it around. <laughs> well, how you doing, Jay-Z? Uh, I can't feel anything. <laughs> Jay-Z pulls the bag a little bit. Oh shit. super hard in the challenge because I didn't really want to like stick my head that close to a bunch of sand like I had just washed my hair I was not getting sand in my hair <laughs> I did not care enough to try in the challenge it was bad so that challenge sucked uh, I, apparently I'm not good at crawling around on my knees and hitting balls with my head I just lost that last challenge this is just really a bummer but um, I'm still gonna keep fighting I'm gonna trust that maybe Lucas tell me the truth. After the challenge, he put me aside. He said, regardless, you're safe. We're gonna try to get Moye out. If not, if Moye wins, then we'll get Mila. So hopefully, Moye is a big target this week because he could have won the challenge just like I could have. But um, I don't know. I'm gonna keep working my angle, see what I can do so I can survive this other week. I just need one more week. And then I think I can do this. So, I got that. But one thing I did notice that's a little bit sketchy is that Kayla took a photo of the glue. Did not send said photo into Kidoba Crew. Just independently took a photo. So, Annika got the clue this time. I don't know what it means at all whatsoever. So, you know, that's fun. It wouldn't surprise me if she goes and sends it to Moye and Mila. fucking C major on the piano, under the sea, Sebastian singing, in a bench. Like, what the fuck could that be? When us 10 texted me asking about the clue today, he was like, was it a G major or a C major? And I was like, oh, it was a C major, but really it was a middle C. So, I mean, yikes. Right after that super early challenge, everything started going down. You know? Now I just literally I'm just like lost all the time. I never know what to believe anymore. So, kind of just like, you know, like it's like basically like just walking in the dark. Trying to walk in a straight line. <laughs> no idea where I'm going. I honestly think it's 50 50 chance Moye starts starting to figure out the five. Yeah. If there's someone that's figured out Cadova crew, I think it's Moye. And I think at this point, Moye understands there's a tight five because he hasn't said anything in the me, Kayla, um, and Mila chat. And I think it's because he knows it's coming. Sasha seems pretty comfortable when we were talking after. She seems pretty comfortable with Moye. Like voting Moye? Yeah. yeah. So I feel like The plan right now is to vote up Moye, split the vote between Moye and Mila, because we're still trying to, or Lucas and I are still keeping up the pretense that there's still possibly a chance that they had the idol. 
Even though he and I both know that there's no idol. <laughs> there's no idol. We have them. The next vote will be Sasha, and as long as things go to plan and nobody wins immunity when they shouldn't, uh, should be pretty simple. Kayla sat down next to me, and she started talking about, like, Survivor. And I was like, okay, like, what's she gonna tell me? And she told me that she wants to get Annika and Lucas out. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously I'm not gonna be like, no, we're getting you out or something. Um, and honestly, I feel, like, I feel like I could beat Kayla and Shauna. So it's not like a bad plan. I think Jonathan knows that he needs to keep me. I don't think that he really has any other options at this point. If I have, you know, no real reasons to believe that anybody would actually jump on Qdoba Crew, um, I think that there's a good chance we will stick back to the end. And um, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Maybe it's naive. I feel good right now though. <laughs> I mean, I think at this point, winning immunity does put a target on your back. Um, we're getting down to the, you know, the finals, so any immunity win gets you closer, and everyone wants that, so definitely a target. So, Annika, is physical strength a big worry? Is it getting to the end a big worry yet, or is it somewhere in the middle? I mean, I'm not thinking about physical strength. Right now, it's all down to, like, who can I beat in a final tribal? Who can I stack myself up against? Who are they going to pick to take to tribal or to final tribal instead of me? Like. Do I eliminate the people that I know I can meet because they're going to be the initial targets for everybody that's trying to stack up their final tribal? Moye, you've gotten a vote at every tribal council that you've been to. Why do you think people keep voting for you? Anyone else want to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Do you All think right. people think that you're plausibly going home every time they vote for you? Or they're just like, fuck Austin. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think a little bit of both. I think part of it's like, if they feel they themselves are a target, I feel like I'm pretty easy to pin it on. You know, I got the most annoying, I'm big, um, I'm somewhat strong. You know, like I feel like I'm just an easy person to pin it on so that they don't have to go home. If I could interject, That's I that. have not been expecting a vote on him at any of those previous like prep tribals. Uh, though every single time his name got thrown up, I was surprised because that's not what I thought the goal was for that night. Kayla, is it hard to cut people now that you've known them for almost three months? Are friendships getting in the way of the game? Yeah, it's really hard to get out one of your friends. Like, you don't want to get them out of the game, but if that's what you have to do to better your own game, then I guess that's what you have to do. Alright, um, with that, we'll go to vote. So Actually, Casey, I'm going to get rid of the advantage that I got a couple immunity challenges ago. Um, it's a vote steal advantage. Um, so basically what I get to do is I get to steal someone's vote and I can use it as my own. Um, and tonight I'm going to steal um, my fellow Austin's vote um, just to make sure that the votes go my way. This is in fact what Austin does have, so Austin will vote twice, Moye will not vote at all. I'm finally voting Austin for him to finally go home because it's time. So hopefully. That's what happened tonight. I'm so sorry. Not really. I love you. I've been waiting a really long time to write your name down though. Um, please stop calling my roommate at midnight about my whereabouts. Thanks. So tonight, I get to live my dream. And vote out my Austin brethren. <laughs> and what's more, Austin Moye will be voting out himself. There's only room for one Austin in this game. And finally, I get to be the only one. Anyone has a hidden immunity out and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. I would like to play it, but I don't have it. <laughs> oh, my God. He said, What is you would like to play it? <laughs> right. I tried. 
I'll read the books. First up, Mila. 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 Second vote, Sasha. Third vote, Austin. <laughs> Fourth vote, Mila. Fifth vote, Austin. I oh, always split it. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Six votes. Mila. Seventh vote. Austin. Last vote. And the fourth member of the jury. Austin. Good luck, everybody. Austin, the tribe has spoken. What do I say? <laughs> Final words, I don't know. Shit was fun, but like I'm ready to be done, I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, obviously I would have loved to keep going, but like, hey, it's time, you know? Thank you to everyone who like stood by me. Mwah. Welcome to your next challenge. First we'll do the idol stars. Close your eyes. As you noticed behind you, there is a grid of plates. So essentially, you guys will be playing musical chairs. So I'll say something that will relate to a player who's been voted out of the game. Like fourth member of the jury or like third person voted out of the game, you will have to find their picture and bring it back to me. There is one less picture than there will be players for each round. So the first round, bring back to me the second person voted out of the Boston. Yeah. Oh my God. That might have been good. That's correct. That is incorrect. That is correct. Honestly, correct. I have no idea what I saw. That is incorrect. That is correct. We're looking for two more. That is correct. Kayla or Lucas. One of them will move on. Is this correct? Oh, yes. Kayla, first person out of the challenge. The next picture I need is the last person voted out before the merge. Uh, All right, worth a try. Uh, that's correct. Oh my gosh, whoa. That's incorrect, that is incorrect, that is correct. That is correct. Jay-Z is correct. Looking for one more spot. All right, that is correct. Lucas is the next person out of the challenge. The next picture I need is the fourth person voted out as Driver Boston. That is correct. That is correct, that is correct. Looking for one more spot. Either Jay-Z or Annika will get it. <laughs> is this? That is incorrect. I'm just guessing at this point. That is incorrect. Is the next person eliminated from the challenge. The next person I need is the third member of the jury. That is incorrect. Oh. That is correct. Sasha moves on. Anik moves on. Looking for one more. That is correct. Mila is eliminated from the challenge. Okay, the next 
person that I need is the third original T Grays member to be voted out of Survivor Boss. <laughs> that is incorrect? I don't know. Uh, no, that's not right. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> Sasha moves on. three players, you need to find all three in the correct order. The first person to do so wins immunity. The three players you need to find are, first, the first person voted out of the season. Second, the first person voted out after the tribe swap. And third, the first person voted out after merge. That is correct. will be going home at Tribal Council. So I met up with Mila. <laughs> I met up with Mila, um, and we were just talking. The clues, like, get a new piece. So it probably like, oh, started really? with the snake, and then like, the second one. <laughs> oh, so all for the same thing? This whole time I thought it was that each challenge would be different, no? And I was thinking, all the clues so far have been iterative, you know? It doesn't make sense that her clue would just be three new pictures. And so when we met up and she showed me this real clue, I like sat there and I basically just said to her, I was like, so this is the real clue, huh? And this is the real clue. You pull it, pull it fast, so yeah. She's not good at lying at all. She was like clearly panicking. So as I was about to leave, she was like, can I trust you? And I was like, of course you can trust me. Like, I'm the most trustworthy person here. Definitely not playing everyone. Um, and then so she just pulls out the clue, the, the, the newest clue. So this is the real clue, and I'm a terrible human being because I lied and I feel guilty. Ew, yeah. and Michaela and Talukas, they're gonna hate me. No. no I don't okay. wanna be voted off yet. This is, this is actually really good. And it makes me trust me. Trust me. Yeah. It makes me that's trust why, you a lot. That's more. why I wanted to tell you before you left, because like he knows. You're like, so this is the real clue, and like he knows it's fake. Mm -hmm. So yeah. It's a pretty believable fake clue, isn't it? No, it, it is. Thank you. So I put a lot of effort into it. Actually yeah. not really. It's like three minutes. So Mila had a idol that she showed me. It was this potted plant. <laughs> it was just sitting on her desk and it said like Northeastern Survivor Idol on it. And I was just looking at him like, oh you found the idol? And then she was like, oh no, that's just a plant. And she was like, I've been considering playing it at one of the tribals just to freak people out. Think like, you know, make them think I'm playing the game. I'm like, it's a plant.
I mean, I'm obviously ready to go Mila. I want yeah, I mean, I think we have to go Mila. Do you think the girls are gonna? I feel like because because we use the advantage night, they like know we're like solid with them. Yeah. At least final five. Yeah. Um, I, I want to do Sasha this week, but. It, it would have been nice, but yeah. It would have been nice to have Q Crew and Mila in the final six, because uh, then it's an easy vote, um, and we don't have to worry about her winning immunity. But now we gotta get rid of her and vote early uh, to make sure that Q Crew, stay, Q Crew stays strong. Um, and, and we just gotta hope for the best with the immunity challenge and hope that Sasha doesn't win the final six immunity challenge. Uh, did, did she say anything more about this girls' alliance thing? Um, I assume you don't want it. Oh, I don't know. Are you kidding me? My only chance of gaining Claire's vote is if I'm the last girl. That is my only shot for Claire. There's no way I'm getting it unless yeah. I am the last girl. I can't have other girls with me when it comes to the final. There's a girls' alliance, which may be real, maybe isn't real. Annika and Kayla say that they joined it but aren't actually part of it. I feel like it makes sense for them to get us all out because, you know, we have Tiger Boys. It's tough here. to talk because yeah. then if anyone sees us, well, they're just like, why are you three yeah. talking about yeah, Exactly. Yeah, but, but are we confident? I, I feel good. Good. I'm good. confident that okay. not both of them will flip. Okay. Yeah. But my, my only worry is if one of them is worried the other one will flip, and you know what I mean? That you get and to their heads, and both they both, they both, it's almost like the, what the fuck is that called? Like the prisoner's dilemma? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If someone yeah, asks yeah, them, yeah. then they both should rat or no one should rat. Yeah. yeah. And usually, end up one, one person ends up batting. Where it either ends up they both rat or no one rats. Yeah. So. Well, Sasha's trying to screw up the Kadoba crew. Obviously, I have the idol. If I play it, I think I'm gone the next vote. So basically, it's do I play it now or do I hold out for the long game? And yeah, I might look stupid if I get voted out with an idol in my pocket. That's that's that's, that's this game. Since we have like the pieces of speak, I was thinking like it would probably be like be all of our aggressive chances to just like take out a guy, take out the mall if we want. <laughs> that way that like if we're working together, like we can guarantee like five or four and have like a better shot at like making it to five three. Yeah, I okay. agree. So what were you thinking about this week? For me that would probably be Austin because like had I not won, like he would have won and he used that advantage last week. Mm -hmm. I had no clue he was gonna do it. He like I think he found the clue like the first couple challenges, so I feel like he has yeah. like tricks up his sleeve and I'm not that close in. I was definitely thinking Shauna saved for sure. Like that was my go-to person, but I didn't want to save first. That's probably where I'm going to. I mean, it just makes the most sense. So we're the four girls left and we decided that we want Austin Shaughnessy to go tonight. So hopefully he doesn't have an idol and he'll just go home, which is fine with me, whatever. So I would love to make a big move and I absolutely have the guts to make those big moves, but like I'm not gonna be able to make that case to Lucas without totally burning his trust. And right now, he and I are like like stuck in one of those like little like finger trap things and like I like I, I mean I can't screw my I'm gonna screw myself over by trying to screw him over. So it's tough to burn people after three months. Um, and I think everyone kinda wants to get over crew. So if someone jumps, it's gonna be a night. I think if we get through the night, as long as Sasha doesn't win immunity, I think we have final five. And then from there, uh, some fun begins. <laughs> have to vote, they have to say their thing, then they have to like order the votes in the way they want and... They order the votes? Yeah! You yeah. motherfuckers! <laughs> what the fuck? No, because that That's would be so sense. shitty! Because if it's a tie... That is so shitty! No! no what the fuck? That's how they do it on the Are you experience. fucking kidding? Like drama, yeah. That's yeah. such bullshit! <laughs> Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? Wow! We know who voted for who, because of the order. <laughs> Oh, but now if we just drop the thing in randomly, then it's like just a random draw. Like, that is such a bullshit. That is such <laughs> bullshit. You piece of shit. Oh, oh my God. God. You had quite the reaction after you won. Does that mean like you feel like you needed it tonight? I think most of the reaction came from the fact that it was like a random guess was like shocking to me. So um, yes, it feels great to have it. I might have needed it tonight, um, but it feels damn good to know that I'm not going home. <laughs> so Mila, last round you received three votes. Why do you think you got these votes? And does it worry you that you could get more votes tonight? 
Honestly, I think we're all terrified that we're going to get votes. And the fact that I got three last week just really just took me over the edge of being scared. But anyway, that happens every week. And so we just gotta hope for the best. <laughs> right. So Jonathan, how important is jury management? I think that's definitely uh, an important aspect of the game now that we're getting this far into it. Um, Obviously, we're voting these people out, but they still have to determine a winner in the end. So you want to make sure that they think good about you and you know less about others. So. Do you think that there is a clear front runner to win at this point? No, I, I feel like a lot of people have a lot of different cases that they can make. Um, I think there are definitely a, a top few, um, but I feel like anyone could could be you know working behind the scenes, things we don't know. So you know, we'll just have to see when it gets to the end. So who here feels safe tonight? <laughs> Sasha, why do you think people did not raise their hands? Everyone's betting on this vote right now. So when you're betting on something, you're not exactly sure if it's gonna come out your way. So I'm pretty sure everyone feels like they're on the chopping block today. Even if you're not on the chopping block tonight, tonight's vote is gonna be crucial for the next couple votes. And if the vote doesn't go your way tonight, it's gonna spell the end of your game. All right, with that, we'll go to vote. My leap of faith is Kobe Crew. Hopefully, uh, Monica sticks with me, Kayla sticks with me, Jonathan sticks with me, or uh, this might be it for me. I feel really bad about it, but it's gotta happen, I guess. If I lose to you, I deserve to lose this game. has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. I'll read the votes. First vote, Mila. Second vote, Austin. Third vote, Lucas. Fourth vote, Mila. Sixth vote and the fifth member of the jury, Mila. Mila, the tribe has spoken. Still, multiple people getting votes. You guys seem a lot more anxious today, and it's only gonna get worse from here on out. Next time on Survivor Northeastern, people begin to think about the end game. I was more confident I could beat you, and so uh, I'm losing that confidence myself. And quickly realize that the idol may be gone. And we found these sea benches. But it's not here! <laughs> ah! I kind of expected to go home. People didn't trust me and also I lied about that clue. It's been a good run. I always get to go home to my friends. Like I tell them all about this. Like how production is so fun, all the people are so fun, and how it's wild and how I eat crickets and stuff. Like.